Unfortunately, we're leaving Petra today. We are excited though because we're heading to Wadi Rum. I think it's about two hours south of Petra. Overall tips about Petra, come early, plan the entire day there. Know what you wanna do ahead of time because if you're just here for one day, you need to have a plan because you could spend weeks here. As far as the guest, uh, Petra guest house, it's literally the closest hotel to the entrance. It's 10 steps away from the entrance to Petra, so. Um, and museum, and the museum, oh, by the way, we went to the museum yesterday. It was free entry with the pass, with the ticket to get into Petra, you get a free entry to the museum. And it's cool because you can see all uh, the artifacts and the statues and the idols that they pulled from the dig sites and then they put it over there. Um, so it gives you kind of a good overview of the history of Petra. Hi Petra. Yeah, leaving Petra. Sad to go. I know, it's a bummer. But we're going to Wadi Ram right now, staying in the desert tonight, super excited. We definitely recommend coming to Petra. So our hotel is right out there. And then that's the main walkway we went in and then all of Petra's back hidden behind those mountains. have made it to Wadi Rum. And this is the first view we get. We haven't gone to the camp yet. We're getting the entrance tickets. And this is what we see. Not a bad drive. Probably hour and a half from Petra. Now we're gonna head to our hotel. I think it's called Al Sultani. And then we're gonna do a three hour Jeep tour in a couple hours. Walked into our room over at um, what was it? Al, Al, Sol Al, Al Sultana. Sultana. Yeah, so it's uh, Wadi Rum is actually the whole city that we're in, and these are all different camps that are inside of the city. So we just walked in, AC's piping, and look at this view. Definitely cool. be seeing some stars. So we're in a bubble, king size bed, cool light, perfect bathroom, shower, and we have power. Love it. So we have been doing a pretty good job of eating fresh food, but he, uh, our tour guide told us to load up on snacks for the next day. So we kind of went a little overboard. So we delivered, okay. So boom, snacks. Guess how much all that cost though? I was surprised. Seven Jordan dinar. Just like 10 bucks. $10, 10 bucks dollars US. Uh, I've never had any of this. So we got Mr. Chips, a cream pita with raspberry, yummo, Chuck chip biscuits, Nutella be ready, wafer up extra, biscuit with cardamom, salted crackers, cracks with extra herbs, cupcake lavender. Actually, we've had this before. Nutella and go, and then oh bugles, yeah, I had that too. Tonight we're actually going to do a dinner. They're doing some local custom dinner where they're cooking the meat in the ground, and so after our Jeep tour, we're going to have the dinner. So we have about an we have about an hour to relax, and then we're going to go explore like the actual protected area of Wadi Rum and we'll see you on the Jeep tour. We have no idea what to expect. But all we know is that we're gonna be in the back of a Jeep. And it's probably gonna be Sandy. And I didn't bring a hair tie. Womp womp. We just got out of the Jeep for our desert Jeep ride. It's actually a good day today because it's about 75 degrees, but with the breeze and in the shade, it's a perfect temperature. So we got three hours. Hopefully, don't fall out. Uh, we thought we'd give you some fun facts about this desert here. This is where Star Wars was filmed, uh, Aladdin in Wadi Rum. Uh, what was the other one? The Martian. The Martian. And you could just tell totally Lawrence of Arabia. 
Yeah, we yeah. feel like we're just completely in the middle of nowhere because we are. We did a lot of stairs yesterday. Technically, we're not doing any stairs. Instead, we're just climbing up a sand dune. Apparently, the views up here are worth it. Boom. She's flying now. Stop! Heather didn't make it, but finally made it to the top. And this is the incredible view, literally in the middle of nowhere. What's the name of this mountain you've climbed? I don't know the actual name, but I'm calling it Cinnamon Bun Mountain. <laughs> With extra cinnamon and icing. <laughs> That's nuts. Yes. And so now we are going right in between those two right there mountains. And he said that there's scripture in there. Um, so here we go. This is about a thousand years old. And then you have Nabathean writing up there. So people would stop here on their way to Petra. I'm walking in the middle of the gorge, in the middle of the Wadi Rum. Our guide was telling us that this is kind of where people would stop before Petra. And you can see a lot of ancient scripture into the walls. You can see how far it goes up. We just traversed a canyon. And here we are. Heather says there's a dolphin. It's been beautiful, awesome weather, awesome sights. There's a lot more to Jordan than Petra, for sure. to walk up this one we just drove up and then we mm -hmm. parked right there yeah and then so we're gonna watch the sunset from this amazing view we just finished the sunset you can hear us ft we were up there the Dinner soon. We heard it's 
supposed to be pretty cool how they cook under the ground. We'll check it out in a little bit. Two-hour fire and three hour and a half uh, cooking. We're back at Al Sultana. This is cook. what came out of the chicken, out of that hole. It was chicken and lamb. A giant mountain of food. And rice and deliciousness. Home sweet home. Home sweet home. This is our Martian tent and our backyard. Might call it a day, might not call it a day. <laughs> Either way, tomorrow is the Dead Sea. So we'll probably see you tomorrow at the Dead Sea.